immediately following green up of Bermuda grasses in Oklahoma and other southern areas of the U.S. that do experience a moderate to severe winter, we can see the symptoms of spring dead spot. Spring dead spot disease is caused by a fungus. The actual infection is generally occurring in the cool fall months when the plant's infected, but we do not see the symptoms. Then even just average winter temperatures produce kill of the infected tissue that's been made very susceptible to added winter kill. Now the patches are typically radial or circular. They may coalesce into larger regularly shaped areas, but because fungi generally grow in a radial pattern, the symptoms of it, the disease itself will be roughly a circle. This is a uh, variety that's moderately susceptible. This happens to be tiff sport in this case, but many hybrid Bermudas and uh, several common Bermuda grasses are very susceptible to the disease. Development programs do work on trying to improve the resistance of modern types, but thus far there are no Bermuda grasses that are immune to the disease, even though there are varieties that have drastically improved resistance. Here we can see symptoms of spring dead spot, and because this disease reoccurs in, to the outer edges of the patches where it was seen the previous year, you'll notice uh, many weed problems coming in where the turf has been thinned. Now, what we do like to see about these patches, even though they are quite ugly in this case, is that we do have good survival in this particular one here, so this one will actually repair itself with appropriate mowing, fertilization, and irrigation. You can contract with professional lawn applicators. There are fungicide programs that are successful, but we do not treat at the time when the symptoms are actually visible. One would treat twice in the fall with the treatments about 30 days apart, and we're looking for surface soil temperatures falling to about 70 degrees. At that time, the fungicide is applied, and then again at about 30 days later, and that's termed a preventative program. Uh, if we were to treat now in the spring when the symptoms are here, the fungus really isn't very active and also the symptoms are already present from last fall's infection followed by the winter kill of the susceptible tissue. The best strategy is to reduce thatch uh, and also to pick varieties that are moderate to highly resistant to the disease.